Hi Pisces, this is Mary Shima Charles Luca. Let's see what is the situation as of now or what you need to care from me right now. Pisces out there, Sun on the rising, Venus. What is it that you need to care from me right now? Pisces out there, what is it that you need to care from me right now? Your first card is the Knight of Cups. Alright. It seems like you're hoping for something to come your way. All right, you're optimistic about this. You want something to come your way. It seems like this could be um, something which did not work out. If it's a relationship situation, this could be somebody who has walked away from you. All right, but you were hoping for them to return. Okay. Yeah. You're hoping for them to come back and you are hopeful with this seven of cups it's it's like optimistic you know head is up in the clouds that kind of a situation that is why with its knight of cups I, I wouldn't say it is coming you are hopeful for this to come through for this person to reach out to you okay i get this feeling this could be somebody whom you know whom you, you knew, all right, or whom you were involved with previously, okay. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces energy or probably uh, a Scorpion energy. Seems like someone was disappointed. It didn't work out. They walked away because it wasn't serving them, like it wasn't working out for them. All right, moving on. Pisces, can we have the next card, please? You want something to be offered to you. You want something to come your way. If uh, it doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself, you were disappointed. All right, uh, and you're waiting on this to come through. You're still hopeful for this to come through. Your next card is the Eight of Wands, which is a forward-moving energy. All right. Again, the contrast, hangman, nothing much is happening right now. You are just hanging in there in limbo. It's a very stagnant energy and the contrast is the eight of wands, which is a forward moving energy. All right. You don't want to be stuck in this hoping and uh, wishing and all that. You want things to move forward. Okay. You want this to come through. Some of you might be dealing with a strong Sagittarius energy. There is this energy about stagnancy. Okay, nothing much is happening right now. You're waiting. You're waiting on this. Can we have the next card, please? Five things out there. Your next card is the Ace of Cups in the center of the reading. All right, the same cup she's holding on to. Don't go with the gender, she or he. All right, she has to offer a cup. The cup is abundant. So whatever you're waiting on, it has a lot of potential. It brings about so much emotional abundance, happiness. It is brimming over. All right, you really want this. <laughs> Along with the Empress, she's somebody who's very abundant, right? Along with the Hangman. All right, there's a couple of scenarios which I need to speak about. Some of you might be waiting on a person to return and offer you uh, It doesn't have to be return itself. It could be a new person, whatever. You know, something did not work out, but you want somebody to offer you a cup. Hmm? You want to be in a connection with someone. So you, if you're single, you want somebody to come into your life and offer you this cup of love, all right, and make you their empress. So you're waiting on your emperor, all right? Um, some of you, because the Ace of Cups and the Empress, Empress is a fertile person, okay? She's a, she's a mother, she's a pregnant woman. So it, it's like, uh, if you were disappointed in the past when you were trying to conceive a child, Okay, some of you might have gone through a miscarriage. Some of you, it, it just did not work out. 
okay you're hoping for things to move forward in regards to getting pregnant okay this is what you're wishing on because um, the kind which is peeping out i just saw it now ace of pentacles all right the empress the ace of pentacles it's, it's like a baby in your womb all right and then we have the ace of cups as well this brings you so much and you had been waiting on this you had been hoping on this to happen there was a stagnant phase hmm? so some of you want to become parents like uh, you know you want to have a baby all right some of you want someone to offer you a commitment yeah you want to become their empress it could be a walk situation as well okay because ace of pentacles and um uh the empress it's it's like whatever is coming your way you have been waiting on this it has a potential to elevate you to the next level okay in regards to your abundance because ace of pentacles is something which is which has a lot of potential to give you stability to give you security all that okay so it, it whatever the situation is um you want things to move forward in your favor all right can we have the next card please pisces out there but all through the reading it's speaking about you wishing for this it hasn't happened yet okay let me point that out to you i could make it a beautiful reading by saying yes it is coming through yes the ace of cups is coming through yes you're going to be the empress yes the ace of pentacles is coming through no we started off the reading with the seven of cups so it's it's like you being dreamy about this if this comes through this is how things are going to be you know so you being wishful about it yes queen of swords it, 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 it's it's like i need to tell you the brutal truth yeah so i i i cannot play with your feelings as of now so there is something about being straight straightforward i think that message is for me being the queen of swords all right it's like cutting through the bullshit all right moving on can we have the next card please pisces out there i cannot play with the reading just because you know it's easier that way all right pisces can we have the next card please for wands you're waiting on this again i get this energy you're waiting for things to come to okay because you're hoping for the stability and security which comes through with this offer yes you're very um you know uh, defensive about this i need this to happen no matter what i need this to happen that kind of energy okay like you are not going to give up on it you will keep waiting on this to come through because that that is a kind of uh you ready uh yeah you believe in this very strongly i get this energy you believe in this and still i'm going to say it hasn't happened because i do see it in the cards as well it hasn't happened yet but you are you know um very defensive about hanging in there and waiting for it because somehow you believe it is going to come through anyhow okay now i'm not saying no to this it, i'm not saying it hasn't uh, you know it isn't going to come through no i'm just saying this is the way the cards are coming through this is somebody who's very adamant about uh this will happen okay we have one more card to go some of uh, some of you might be dealing with a sagittarius or probably an aries energy you're very dependent on this because it 
it gives you you know it's 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 like you you will be able to lay the bricks to the foundation to a strong foundation it's like the four legs of a table it gives you the security okay some of you are wishing to be married wishing for the commitment to come through so that you can be do uh, you can build a life together huh the magician you're manifesting this okay there is a strong willingness about you where you will make this happen no matter what okay uh the hermit there is this energy about looking at it from every angle possible okay reflecting going within it and asking yourself what is it that you want and you believe this is what you want that is why you're so adamant about this happening i need this to happen all right some of you might be dealing with a Virgo energy or probably an Aries energy. Can we have the last card, please? Can we have the last card, please? We got the Five Cups as your last card, which is so far it was a beautiful, uh, you know, a set of cards. But the thing is, like wishfulness, and the last card they wanted to conclude. Ooh, that ace of wands. Ooh. That's one way to, you know, uh, burst your bubble. But my job is to just convey the way it is given to me. Right? Five cups. And I'm explaining the cards to you. So it, it's not like me making it a bad reading, like a bad reading, like negative reading, how people put it on me. Uh, Marishi, you're so negative. I think it was the last Gemini reading or something. And uh, um, yeah, um, the caption of the reading was, uh, you know, not all dreams come true. And it was a negative reading in the sense, like I was just telling them this, this, if this is a situation, this is not going to work out. Mm, so it's, it's the same case. And uh, there was this female, yeah? I don't know if the comment is still there. Uh, she's like, oh my God, what do you get out of this? You are so negative. You're so, well, you know, well, doesn't make you happy to give you, uh, give us such a negative reading. Am I related to you or something? Are you my enemy or something? Why do I care? You know, if I really need the views and the uh, subscribers and all that, I will make it a beautiful reading for you. All right. I could. Trust me, I can. With this four cards. I can, but that's not my job, right? I have a responsibility to tell you how, you know, how it is. Five cups. This is a card of disappointments. So they hyped you up, but they didn't actually. It's, it's all in your head. Seven of cups is somebody who's very dreamy and, you know, who's building the castles in the air. Yeah, in the clouds. The head is up in the clouds. So this is how you wish something to come through. All right. Wishing for someone to come through and offer you this commitment and all that, you know, for some kind of a job opportunity to be presented to you, all that. But the ending it with the five cups, this is a person who is crying over spilt milk. You know, this person is focused on the three cups, which has spilled over. All right. So this is a card of loss. Uh, regards to as blunt as that the ace of wands so this is like something was supposed to come through something you were waiting on but then this card is facing all the other four cards hmm? which says you're disappointed with things not working out okay things not coming through as you wished behind the ace of wands is a queen of cups emotionally you are very invested into this coming your way but the thing is whatever this case might be okay and this is something which which had uh, some kind of a disappointment uh, attached to it attached to it okay 
So whoever you're waiting on or whatever you're waiting on is it isn't coming through. As unfortunate. All right. Um, but again, this is a general reading. Uh, it's, it's not each and every one of you, your dreams, your wishes is not going to happen. No, I'm not saying that. I don't know who this is for. Okay. High Priestess. You will know exactly if this is your reading. Okay. I don't have to convince you. The, when you listen to this, you will know. Okay. And I get this. This could be regards to someone from the past whom you're waiting on. Okay. That is not, and you're unhappy with how things are right now. You're hoping to get back together. Hmm? Hoping to have this happily ever after with them. You're hoping for them to give you this commitment. But the thing is, no. And deep within, you know they are not coming back. Okay? You don't want to accept the reality that they have really moved on. It is convenient for you to wait. Because I kept seeing the waiting energy hanging there. Dream about it. All that. It's convenient for you to sit and wait with the excuse. I know they're going to come, come through. I know they will return. So I'm going to wait. Remember the seven of wands. You're adamant about this. Even if I tell you they're not going to return, you're like, you know nothing. Huh? I'm not going to listen to you. So this reading might be useless to you as of now. But deep within, you know. That's the ace of wands, all right. Let me just break the deck and I'm done with the reading. I'm already done with the reading. Some of you might be dealing with a Scorpion or probably a Pisces. I just, if you haven't seen that, I just broke the deck and we have the Four of Pentacles. This is someone who's holding on to something and not willing to let go of it. Okay? It's time for you to let go. Okay? It's about time for you to move on. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn energy. That's it for now. This is Marishi. You must have Until next time.